And a diamond of silk, whose real names are Lynette Hardaway and Rochelle Richardson. Join us now via live video link from North Carolina. Ladies, morning. it is so good to have you on Good Morning Britain. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, are, you all, are you always... Are you, are you always this excited? Yes, every time I talk about Donald J. Trump, we are very excited. That's right. <laughs> what is it that you what is it that you love about Donald Trump? I like it because he's an outsider and he's a businessman yes. with a master plan to make America great again. Not only that, he's real and he likes to keep it real. That's what we love. Okay, <laughs> now can I just establish you two both voted for Barack Obama at the first uh, time he was elected, and you you voted in his re-election. Why have you lost faith with President Obama and the Democrats? Because this time we needed something different. When we look at eight years of disaster, of people burning down their communities, mm -hmm. of people killing each other, of people not having jobs, not having hope, we didn't like that. So we said this time we're not going to vote based on party. We're going to vote based on who is going to do the job. Right. And so come along, Donald Trump, the businessman, the outsider, we liked him, we liked everything he stood for, and we switched our party to vote for him in the primaries and we went on to vote for him in the general election. Okay, well, now, now Donald Trump's going to be president. You know, there are concerns. People in Britain certainly are very concerned that Donald Trump, he shoots from his lip, he shoots from his hip, he's, he says outrageous things, he's controversial, he can be very offensive. Mm. Are you ladies concerned that when he's president, you know, he needs to calm things down a bit? I like the way he is. I like the realist, somebody that keeps it real and tell the truth. Mm -hmm. See, I am tired of people walking around. They will prefer to hear a well-dressed lie instead of the naked, nasty truth. Let's tell the truth. Yeah. And I'm sorry, you can't be political correct That's when you're right. telling the truth. That's right. <laughs> Do you know, your relationship reminds me of me and Susanna. Uh, one getting a little bit more of the airtime than, <laughs> than the other, and the other one just nodding along, quite happy and agreeing with it. You, but you're both sisters. Do, are there times when you have rowed about politics? Well, we are always, we are always a little rowdy. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you, we, was, we, but we just really, we're passionate about Donald Trump, yeah. his presidency. We, 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 I mean, this is just, it's a, it's a movement. That's right. And we're passionate about that. You know, after being silent for so long because of the structure of government, you know, when Donald Trump came along, it's like Diamond and Silk came out, we speak for the silent majority over here in America. Yes. And so we've just been speaking our mind passionately, and we're bringing that back into, into this thing called life. Okay, yes. Let me ask you, let me ask you this, on a serious point, Barack Obama... Uh, in Chicago last night, gave mm. his farewell speech. You know, many African Americans that I've spoken to in the last few years have felt pretty disappointed that Obama has not done enough as the first black president for the black people of America. What do you ladies feel about that? Well, it's the truth. That's you know, right. he ran on hope and change. You have people walking around with hope, with no hope, and not enough change to buy penny candy. That's right. So people are just tired of his, you know, the way he operates. It's like he forgot about the African-American community or the black community. And then, you know, he went down there to Chicago last night, a day late, a dollar short. That's right. Um, uh, no, thank you. He's on his way out. That's what we are excited about. And we are excited about the new man that's on his way in, Donald J. Trump, the 45th <laughs> president of the United States. <laughs> what is your message? When President Trump is inauguration coming up a week on Friday, January the 20th, he will be the 45th president of the United States of America. He'll be your president. If he's watching this, and I know he watches our show religiously, if he's watching this, what is your message to Donald J. Trump? Donald J. Trump, don't change. That's right. Stay the way you are. Go in, clean house, yes. and let's get some work done so we all can help him make America great again. And keep your <laughs> Twitter account. Yes. <laughs> Ladies, you are utterly fabulous. Whatever side of the political divide any of you may be, you are exactly what we need in the mornings. Mm. You shake us up. Passion. You bring us alive. you got energy. passion, energy, all those things. Love it. Lovely. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you for, Thank having, you for us. having us.